Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Mary Jo. I'm here with a weekly reading for September 14th to September 20th, 2015, and where I cover the theme, the challenge, the advice, and the resolve or outcome for the week. Um, thank you for liking my videos and for the people that have been sharing them on Facebook and with others, I really appreciate it. It helps my channel to grow, so please remember to subscribe and like. I did the reading yesterday for the um, eclipse that we had, the Moon and Partial Solar Eclipse in Virgo, and it still hasn't uploaded yet. We had severe thunderstorms yesterday, and it's been storming again today, so I don't know if that's going to get up before this one, because it is about a 30-minute um, video, so if you want to check that out, because it will help you with things that are coming this month, and we talked about planting seeds on the new moon, other things that we desire in our life to bring to fruition for us by the uh, full moon or after. Um, so let's go on with this week's reading. It'll be a shorter reading than that uh, video because I think these cards kind of touch down on the same thing. I shuffled the cards really well. I put them down and I have the star, the sun, justice, and the page of wands. We have three major arcana in a row and then we have messages or the messenger card. And um, these cards keep coming up in the last few weeks' reading. So whether it's the general reading for the people who are watching these videos, that this is messages specifically for you, but I will try and tie it into different aspects of your life as well. Um, with the theme for the week, we have the star. And the star is a beautiful card of healing. And we see that the woman is in the water. <clears throat> the water represents um, our emotions. Okay, and this card is represented by Aquarius, actually. But this card talks about our hopes and dreams, the things that we desire. <clears throat> Excuse me, I still haven't been sleeping with this whole new moon thing, and I'm just like, my energy is drained, and I apologize for that. I feel like I'm still like in, uh, in that Neptunian energy, like uh, delusional here. But the star talks about having hope. This is the theme for the week. Have hope. We have the... Um, new moon that's today on the 13th is when I'm recording this so we're probably still feeling after effects of that and we will maybe for a couple of days after um, so we have that kind of dream state or we wish for things this card talks about it's been a while you've been wanting and wishing for these things and you're saying when are they going to come to me the, the card offers that how how much do you want this are you willing to wait? Because help is on the way. But you're going to have to wait a little longer. Be patient. For some of us, patience is um, very difficult. And because we want things, and we talked about in the reading that I did, if it ever uploads, about that Gemini energy, Mercurian energy, where Mercury rules uh, messengers, but speed, okay? And a lot of us are just so tired of waiting, and we want it now. We're tired of waiting. So this beautiful card is saying to you that help is on the way, and to please be patient. Have hope. Keep wishing on your star. Keep desiring these things with all good intentions, without desperation. That the universe is rearranging people, places, and things just for you. So have the, the faith to know and believe that it is coming. If you're saying, well, I'm done with this, I just can't wait. Okay, well, the energy may have been right there or coming very soon, it's on the way. Then you change up that energy. And you can abandon it if you want to. A lot of us abandon those dreams, those hopes, those wishes. But you've probably heard of the expression that sometimes a five-year plan takes seven years or ten years. You know, there are a lot of people who devote good portions of their life to something and don't get the results right away. It might take them seven years. Some people, their whole life before they get the payoff. You need to consider that things are unfolding as they should. And perhaps you're not ready for this that you want. You think you are. You may be out of balance. You might think, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. But the universe knows that at this time it won't come to you in the best way. 
or if it does come to you, you're not ready to utilize it to the best in your life. You might make a shambles of it. You might make poor choices. Um, you have to look at it that way. So right now, the star card is saying it's time for you to heal yourself. Immerse yourself in the waters of life, okay? The, the um, Aquarian energy that we're having, that peace, love, harmony, just go with that flow right now, relax. Do something nice for yourself. We talked about that in the last few weeks' readings, that it's time to de-stress and it's time to relax. It's time to pamper yourself. We're in Virgo now. It's all about our health. It's centering ourself, balancing ourself. Okay, and see how she has the two cups. She pours the water from the one jug into the water into the other. It's just a very esoteric feeling. And she's got her third eye is activated there. See that? And the star above. So she's putting out her dreams, sending out to the universe, to God, to source energy. And until it comes back to her, she's busying herself with her life and letting the waters flow. The natural cycle and the natural order of life, those ups and those downs. Okay, and then the challenge for the week is the sun. Now, the sun is another beautiful card, and I always say to people who are trying to get pregnant, um, or if they are, this card usually indicates a male child or twins. I kept getting that card with my daughter, and when I was reading for other people, and she'd be sitting there, and she had twins, but she had twin girls. So, the sun talks about in this, we're in the challenge. It's challenging you to be more clear. So the star was saying, put your wishes and dreams and desires out there and have hope helps on the way. It won't be easy, but it's coming. And either you can abandon ship and forget about it or stay the course and busy your life with something else until it comes to you. This card is talking about you need to focus. Okay, that's your challenge for the week. You are out of focus. You are out of balance. Are you being too emotional right now? Are you being too stubborn right now? Are you being too argumentative right now? Um, this card is talking to you about seeing things clearly. The light of the day, the sun brightens everything. You know, it shows you everything. You see, it's not like in the moonlight where you're wondering, you know, is that a guy standing outside with a knife? You know, or is that something hanging from the tree? You know, when you put the lights on, you see it for what it is. The sun is talking about having that mental clarity, focusing. It's like an epiphany. You got to challenge yourself here to wake up, you know, balance yourself, consider everything that's going on in your life and take responsibility for it. Try and take all the energy of the sun, okay, and open up your eyes to see what's really happening. And sometimes it isn't the other person, the other situation. Sometimes it's ourselves. And that's what, like with the first card too, we're doing with, you need to balance yourself. Watch what you say. Uh, it could be the way you're treating people. It could be the way you're treating yourself. Okay. So with, with the sun, you, it's talking about a possibility of everything, you know, achieving everything. This is what you want. You're challenging yourself, achievement, success, a great marriage, uh, accolades and praise at work, promotion, getting uh, that raise. You, you know, sometimes you don't need the promotion. You give me a glorified title. I want the money. Um, that car, you know, that cute guy in my class. You know, what is it that you're wishing for? And you want to have that. You want to be successful with it. So open your eyes and take a good look at even at yourself. The way you're thinking, the way you're acting, the way you're speaking, and your energy. The sun is all about your energy. You need to recharge your batteries. You know, this new moon does drain a lot of people, and it's like even the full moon affects people. You know, you have that lunar cycle where you have that lunacy, lunatics. With this moon, it, it's a time it's saying that you need to relax and just rest. You know, if you, you're a little out, take some vitamin D. Um, supplement yourself with vitamin C because in the new moon the body absorbs it much better also so you'll feel the result of it it takes a couple of weeks to get into your system but you'll need that and this way you should be feeling better by the time the full moon comes and uh, it could be as simple as going out and sitting in the sun 10 minutes every day 
it charges your vitamin D and it builds your testosterone. I've said that since I'm a child, you know, I need to go charge my batteries and I go out in the sun. You know, look at it that way too. Take better care of yourself uh, as far as your energy level to keep it. Don't, it's not talking about starting to, you know, go bungee jumping, you know, adrenaline rush and jumping. If that's your thing, okay, great, your energy is up. But for many people that their energy is low because of everything that's going on in their lives, it's kind of like sucking the life out of you. Those energy vampires, the people you're around, they suck the life out of you, that life force, or they drain you of your energy, or you're just physically drained from work, from your family. Kids are back in school right now. Oh my gosh. Moms and dads that are taxing their children to and fro while they're working or while they have to take care of family. You have pets at home. You have to go food shop. You have to pay the bills. All right, that's a challenge for many people, you know, and there are a lot of single parents out there. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of draining. Taking care of yourself, I know, is not easy when you have so many responsibilities as an adult and that you are a responsible adult but you're responsible to the self you know the doctor used to say to me always feed yourself first and your children i said no i feed my kids and they'd say yeah but if anything happens to you who's going to take care of your kids the first order of business is to love thyself okay and then love others remember i talked about in the other videos too if you haven't watched and watched my other videos on the series i've done about the tarot um, take a, a bath with some salts. If you don't have Himalayan sea salts, Epsom salts, bubble bath. Detoxify your body that way. And visualize all that negative energy just draining down the tub as you open the plug and let it go down the drain. Okay, visualize yourself feeling so relaxed now. And you're saying, yeah, I get out of the tub, then I got the kids. I know I've been there. You know, I raised four children, and um, you sometimes wonder, am I ever going to get a break? You give it a little try, set those boundaries and limitations, too, and you're showing yourself love. That's the best gift you could show your children so they grow up loving. It's not selfish. That's different. Being centered, self-centered, is a whole different ball of wax. So challenge yourself this week to center yourself balancing your energy and your emotions. The next card for the advice we have is justice. And this is, this is like an ongoing theme in the last few weeks, even my own personal is I keep getting justice, justice. And 10, um, so this is 11. 11 is a highly intuitive and spiritual number. Okay, this a lot of people look at as the card of karma. Okay, Justice has the fulcrum in the other decks. Um, oh, she's got the fulcrum in front of her here. The big scale, you see that? That's a fulcrum. And she has the sword, the sword of justice. It's precise and it's, it's clean, clear, you know, it's cut. Um, she's one of the maidens in this deck that's blindfolded. There are three. But with this maiden, she doesn't need her eyes to see. She is not driven by emotions. She is driven by the logical, intellectual mind. Now, if anybody's out there going on with some legal situations with the advice here, they're saying justice shall prevail for you. It will cut through everything. Uh, with the star card talking first, it's going to be a while. You're going to need to wait a little bit. I don't have an ace here. If I did a full reading for someone, Ace is indicated time frame for me, but in the general reading here, I'm just going to say, be patient, it's coming. And karmically, you see how the goddess is there, standing um, like through the steps, almost, and with the sun at the base there. Oh, it's the sun again, too. So she's illuminated from within. She drives herself by her intuition. She balances her emotions and logic. She makes clear, clean, cut choices and decisions where she doesn't let her worries get in the way. She doesn't let her emotions get away. She doesn't, she's not biased. So with the advice here, it's saying for this week, again, we're talking about balancing ourselves. You need to balance your, your mind and even if it's your heart, 
your emotions and whatever matters are going on in your life. So try and apply that to uh, whoever's watching this, if it's about your relationship or your job or your health. Um, the card is saying to look at everything that you have done up until this point. What steps, see how like she's standing through the steps but reflecting through to her. What steps have you taken to lead yourself to this situation? But you know, let's be honest about it. You could sit and say, oh, I've worked so hard. I've done so much. Really look at it. It's just you in the mirror. What could I have done differently? What did I do by making a choice that was based on my emotions instead of logically? There are times in your life you follow your heart, you know, and or you have that feeling in your solar plexus. Some people say they have it in their gut, you know, but there are times with your mind you have to make a clear cut choice. And with this week, we're talking about looking at all the steps that have led up to this. What can you be responsible for? And say that the outcome is playing out the way it would because of what I have done. And it is that karma. It is that you being responsible for the choices you make, whether they are positive or negative. You may have made appropriate or inappropriate choices. We all do things that are appropriate and inappropriate. It's part of the life process. I mean, you don't judge anybody based on that because it's a learning experience. But we're looking at this card with the advice saying, start to weigh honestly, logically, clearly, precisely, without your emotion in the way. What have my choices up to this point been that have affected this situation and the outcome? And what can I do to tip the scales? You want to even things out? or tip it in your favor a little more. You know, sometimes, like in the movie with Spock, he said that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. And that's how I was with my children, I always used to say. But there are times that you need to look at your needs and keep that in a balance for yourself. If you're responsible for the many, you've got to look at the needs of the one Keep yourself healthy, keep yourself clear, keep yourself strong, keep yourself logical, making the best choices possible to have a good outcome for everyone else. So the choice will be different. Some of us are going to have to be less selfish if you're being selfish and think of others and others that are being so um, giving to others that we need to start being more giving to ourselves. Okay. And then we have the resolve or the outcome here. We have the Page of Wands. And we have talked about this card also in the last couple of readings. This card came up. Uh, the outcome is uh, the resolve of this. This is the Keeper of the Flame, the Keeper of Energy. All right. If you look at the advice that Spirit is giving you, you have free will. You could do it if you want. You could just stay the course and do what you want and say, I don't know why nothing's changing in my life. Well, there you go or make uh, an effort and see even subtle results because with the star it's saying it's going to take some time, all right? But we've planted seeds today. Hopefully we've written down our positive desires and intentions of the needs and the wants in our life that we're looking to have come to us and the things that we're cutting out of our life and letting go, all right? So that maybe by the full moon some of us will see, we'll get the message. And in, in this sense, it could be that we get the message. Oh, I get it now. I had my moment of clarity. I had my epiphany. I see what I have done or haven't done in the past that's led me to the outcome of what's going on within myself or my life. My relationship, my job, my studies, my health. This card is saying the message is you need to um, feel more energized, Get and that, that's the resolve. You probably start to feel more energized after this whole situation. I'm looking at this might take about two or three weeks, though, because it's, it's not something that happens overnight. And like I said, these adrenaline junkies, they live on that high, and they go, and they wriggle, wriggle, whatever, monster. This is more about 
a creative spark within yourself that you got the idea, you had the epiphany, it's all clear to you now what you need to do. Set that plan into action. With Virgo, we talk about that this Virgo moon is about health, the analytical mind, um, organizing, taking control, cleaning out the closets, literally and figuratively of our lives. Cleaning out the house, getting rid of all that crap like you do in the spring cleaning. Well, you're going to do that with yourself. You're going to get rid of the, the garbage and the crap in your body. Detox. Maybe you could do a, a cleanse for a day or two or even a three-day. You know, if you take yoga classes, um, if you start a little bit of an exercise routine, and like I said, with this whole new moon, don't worry about losing the weight right now because we're expanding your, you know, you're going to start to, it's full. Just start initiating. And with the wand, we talk about the creative all spark ideas that you put into action, the fire under yourself, the keeper of the flame, positive energy. So by the end of the week, we should start to feel like we get the message. I know what I need to do now. Whether you do it or not is up to you because a lot of us have these like um, euphoric moments from the couch. They don't get off the couch. They sit and watch the video of the guy exercising or the girls doing all the Zumba and everything and they just sit and watch it. It doesn't mean it's going to help. you got to get off the couch. You gotta get out. You've got to take the steps. This is about action. This is about the initiative. Take the one. Start walking. Start going. It's like a staff going. It's a fire. The other decks show the flame. Some of them show a flame. Okay, but this almost looks like a north node and a south node to me. But this is saying for you, get the message. Last week we had judgment too um, in, in the new moon reading. I'm saying, and it's saying, heed the call, get the message. You're being called to a new life. Put the fire back in your life and in yourself and take off. So I hope this reading does help you. I really uh, hope I get that other reading up. Please know that I really tried. I My, my mouse uh, was in the way and I went to move it as the screen starts to darken after 25 minutes and I had the button set on to stop, so I stopped and I had to start again. So here it goes. Oh my God, spirit is so funny. <laughs> I love when that happens. So in the worst case scenario, you're going to get in part one, part two, part A, part B, because it's like a 30-something minute video. But I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a great week. Just know I wish you the best. I always wish you the best, and I will be back next week. Bye-bye.